right, yet another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. We are just going to go right off where we left last time. We had just imported our bomb, if you remember, and now we are going to add it into our scene. And so the, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean up this bomb object a little bit. We are going to go to animations to the bomb, and when it explodes on this frame, I actually want it to have no opacity. I want it to be see-through. So we have the hitbox, or yeah, we have the hitbox only. And I want that hitbox to be alive for, let's just say six frames. And so that's how it's gonna look. And then we'll go back to the object. Now you can see there's no object, but it, it is gonna show the bomb for the duration of this particle. And then we're going to um, go here, copy, paste, and I'm gonna say destroy. And I'm gonna click a link, and if animation plays the end. So after six frames, so that hitbox is gonna stay for six frames, and then after six frames, it's gonna go to destroy. We're gonna we're gonna take away the particle and we're going to where is that one? Destroy object. There we go. We'll destroy object and then Yep, that's it. Okay. So we got that a little better. Now now the bomb isn't gonna stay there like it was in the in the last video. And now we're gonna attach it to something so that the player can actually use it. So we're gonna go to our player and we're gonna go right now we're going to add it to our sword attack just so we can get it out there when we can practice. So we're gonna to go to common actions and we're going to go to our sword attack right here. And I think, yeah, we haven't done this one yet because the what we're doing with the sword is called firing bullet. So we're not gonna fire a bullet. We are actually gonna do a generate object. And so, yep, exactly what it says, generate a specific object in the scene. So we are going to select the bomb object. This is very similar to spawning. If you got, if uh, R from RPG Maker, uh, MV anyways, where you had Galv or Yanfly spawn, very similar. And we're going to do it at, this, at the uh, connection point of this object. And we're just gonna leave all these other ones alone here. We're gonna click okay. And I just wanna make sure one thing the the input to go in, I just want to make sure it's on press. Otherwise, we're going to be spawning in a million bombs. So we want to change our attack now to be on press. So to, to attack, you're going to have to hit A every time. You're not just going to be able to hold A and it just attacks constantly anymore. Which is fine. That's how it should be probably. So we'll click OK here. And there was one last thing on the bomb under the basic settings for right now we want to not push back other objects and let's try it let's see I don't know I failed you before <laughs> all right so <clears throat> let's test it out first off let's see if we spawn it yes we do and then let's spawn this one right there See if it breaks the uh, pots there. Oh, it did. Looked great. All right. And then let's go like this. Spawn some more. Spawn some pots again. Or break some pots. Yes. Success. So you can see the hitbox isn't there anymore because we destroyed the object. And that's really a wrap. 